Okay, this is William from Long Island Marine Salvage, and I picked up a uh, 1987 Celebrity. It's got twin 180 horsepower Merc Cruises in there. This is basically just a parts boat. It's nothing else. It's got stuff that people might want. It's got that old school light. People actually like refinishing those. It's got that old school light, which I'm willing to spend some time taking off through the bow rail. It's got one of those where you can take it apart. It's got a pin in there that holds that together. Those are easier to store. I usually don't save them because they just take up too much room in the yard. But you get these stanchions. Uh, I'm taking a few things off the boat. And it's got that. I'll tell you what, that's 316 stainless, those, those, uh, those vents on the side. And the newer ones are garbage. These things are 38 years old and look how good of a shape they're in. That's what stainless steel from Cleveland for the marine use. And they just claim it's 316 anymore coming from China. That's why I saved these filthy, dirty fender holders, I believe. I didn't measure them, but I think they hold up to 10 inch fenders. But look at the mounts. Look how beefy they are. And you know, they you tighten them up to three-quarter inch rail. I saved that bell because I have a boat that needs that bell. Uh, the Teak Swim Platform is, I don't know how long that thing is. It's mostly straight and it's got a little, little, little bit of a curve to it, but you could actually cut it back to here and make it straight if you wanted. But the reason I'm talking about this is it's, it's kind of artsy. It's got a little bit of a problem there, but where everybody gets on the boarding ladder. But look how cool that is. Uh, it's got like a mortise and tennis thing going on, tennis thing going on. Anyway, that's that. And that's probably, that's close to eight feet wide. Here's the model of the boat. It's a 1987. CYG20, it's a B77B787, whatever that means. Anyway, here's the boat. It's got like, even the, like the Marinico you know, shore power. I mean, it's dirty, but look at the, look at how good of shape that stainless is. So that's why I save it. Most people don't give a shit, but I do. Uh, it's just quality stuff. Uh, but the boat is junk. In, in just, I'm not saying the boat's a quality boat. I'm just letting you know that they did use some quality parts off of it. Let me just show you because I've been ripping it apart. The boat was abandoned in the backyard under a tarp for about 15 years. I might save those Merc Cruiser controls. That's the spotlight control hanging out there. And there's the trim tab control. I save those. I usually save, you can see how nasty the engines are. I do not save much out of here. People are always trying to get me to get down in there and save stuff, but it's labor. And I'm just not feeling it. But there's the serial number of the engine. And I don't know if you could read the out drive. The transom was heavily serial number, but it's got that old school stainless hot water heater. But this boat is going to the garbage, and I'm just making a video. But even the cleats, like the newer cleats, I, you know, I don't save the cleats because nobody wants to spend any decent money on them. But just look at the quality of that cleat that's been out in the sun since 1987, just getting beat up on. And here it is, you know. 37 years later, and it's still in good shape. Anyway, that's the boat. So I'm getting ready to crush, but I'm going to pull a couple more things on that off of here. And I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be in my yard for long. So. Oh, and here's another boat while I'm doing videos. But that's a parts boat. All that boat needs is a uh, water pump. It's got a MAG MPI that runs. It's got a Bravo 3. 
that I just painted. Uh, I believe it's a 2.2 or 2.0 gear ratio. I got to check it out. It's an MPI engine. It's got a really nice trailer. I'll be parting that out shortly. But this is the boat um, this video is about. And I could break those little winglets. I don't save them because it's a pain in my neck to save them, ship them, and all.